Man, am I spoiled here in Las Vegas? I really am, because I couldn't ask for anything much. But you know what? I'm getting greedy. I really am, because right now, right next to me is the lovely Sunny Lane. Now, Sunny, I must say, I am a huge admirer of you and your work. And so, thank you so much for giving us a few minutes of your time. How are you enjoying the festivities here at ABN? Well, it makes me really excited, number one, to hear you say that you love my work because I really enjoy doing what I do. I love to put smiles on people's faces and throughout their bodies, so that makes me happy. You know, AEE, AVN is always a blast. You know, when the industry can actually get together and be as a whole, it's healing and loving, you it know? Is. It really, really is. I know it's wild to say, but it truly, truly is. And I, I love just to be around my peers and... You know, it's a good thing. And then I also get to be around my fans that get to enjoy me and see me. And for years, I've been in the business now for 11 years. And so it's really remarkable to see the fans over years and the new fans and what movies they like, what they want to see me do and all that good stuff. I love it here. Well, 11 years is quite an accomplishment there. I mean, when you come to events like this, I always like asking the talent this question. You know, what's it from the talent's perspective? When you come in here, you see all these fans, supporters of yours. Can it be very overwhelming? Is it kind of like you have to take a step back? Or this is kind of surreal in a way? You know, honestly, I love it. I love the fans. I get turned on knowing that they know who I am and what I do. So for me, it's not overwhelming. I, I'm in my element. I'm completely in my element. I was a junior Olympian ice skater growing up with the Tampa Bay Lightning. I used to coach the players' kids. And so this is my element. This is my ice skating rink, and I'm skating on it. And I get to spread my legs and have fun and put smiles on people's faces and be who I am still today. And I love that. And we love we love it too. We love everything about you here on the Ice Pop Podcast. You know, you, do been, you said you've been doing this for 11 years. That's quite an accomplishment for you itself for staying relevant. Any, be, having any type of relevancy in any business is difficult. So what are your keys to success in that terms? You know, is, is a lot social media? Because that seems to be the tool everybody's using right now. Well, you know, um, being relevant is important to me. And there's many different ways that we can actually promote ourselves. And I, back in the day, we could do one movie and that would cover what we do, where we had to do 10 different avenues to make the same amount of money for that one movie. You know what I mean? So all in all, I like doing it all because I'm a multitasker and skating, it's really easy for me in that aspect. So social media, doing certain type of movies, I haven't done it all yet. So I still have things I can still have under my belt in this industry. And I think that's a big thing because I came into it, I didn't jump in with both feet. I took a little dip and then I got in a little bit further and a little bit further. And so that's why I'm still here, staying in my lane. Yeah, staying in your lane and doing a great job of doing it. You mentioned something pretty cool. You're like saying before, back in the day, you could do one movie and that would help you out a lot. Now it seems like content is just being driven out as fast as it can actually be done. Is that something you've noticed in the business? Is it more like for yourself, is it more quality than quantity? Oh, it's absolutely quality over quantity. Absolutely. For me, some girls like uh, quantity over quality. But for me, that's just how I've always done it. Less is more. I'm a very classy lady. I took my skating ethics and I brought them into the adult world. <laughs> uh, and two more for me before we wrap up here. You know, we cover the world of professional wrestling, so I would be amiss if I didn't ask you, do you watch pro wrestling at all? Have you ever come across seeing like WWE and things like that? You know, I used to know China. I knew China very well. Um, she was a good friend uh, to Dennis Off at the Moonlight Bunny Ranch, and she was a good friend of ours. I'm very blessed that I got to know her. She was a very sweet lady, very strong, and she could pick me up on five foot nothing. She would press me, like literally press me. Yeah, so. How, I, fun, how funny is there's a uh, misconception there? A lot of people think the professional wrestlers are a bunch of giant Neanderthals, and obviously people have their own mindsets of the adult film industry as well. But they're all human beings, they're all very nice, and, and <laughs> I've, I haven't enjoyed just speaking to her right now. One final thing for me, Sunday Lane, is we let you go, and I don't want to let her go. But uh, I, I just got a little emotional. I think you could tell in my eyes because yes. China passed away last year. I know, I know. So she's very dear. And in the wrestling community, you know what? I've actually thought about it. I'm like, could I be a wrestler? I've, I've really been thinking about it. You know, I can, I'm a good wrestler. I know how to pin people down. I know how to do the banana split, you know? So who knows? Maybe that's the next part of my career. You never know, obviously. I'm open. You're open. So, you know, we're ending 2017, 2018 is here, obviously. So what are your, what goals do you hope to accomplish personally rather than uh, anything in terms of projects and stuff like that? Oh, wow. Well, I'm working on some really big things this year of 2018. So I'm also working with a tech company called The Beam, and it's going to enhance camming, which is really exciting. 
I'm also working on my website. I'm shooting, directing, and producing now as well. I'm also at the Love Ranch Vegas, which is the sister brothel to the Moonlight Bunny Ranch. My goals in life are just to, in this business is to pass a positive message about empowerment, sexuality, and about who I am. I love who I am and I want other people to embrace who they are too. And if I can pass that message, that's what I'm truly all about. Sonny, thank you so much for your time. Uh, one final thing for me, you know, something to do here in the Eyes About Podcast, we want to invite you in a special club, a certain elite club here, and it's a very simple initiation. All you have to do is basically put your middle ring and thumb together just like this and touch to sweet, and now basically you are a member of the crew, meaning that everyone watching this, everyone following us, well now we will watch you, support you, and we always have your back, Sonny. Oh, thank I you love so that. much. Sonny Lane, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. That's what a crew really does. We stick together and have each other's back. Thank you.